So earlier today I made a video about how we were going to protect oil fields no different than when George Bush Sr. was in Iraq and how we wanted to make sure that our benefits were going solely towards the profitability of carbon and how we wanted to make sure that who cares about the Kurds dying we want to make sure that our oil keeps flowing and you know who has the biggest interest in the oil in Syria it's not Turkey to be honest with you it's Aramco Aramco's broke and they were trying to put money for it to rebuild Syria in order to get their foothold in there now the big question here is is that when we're pulling out our troops and they're throwing tomatoes at us and potatoes at us and Fox News is reporting with the five right here you see them that's the five right now on television Newt Gringrich is in the middle a bunch of girls around them and they're saying that they're going to go to Donald Trump but they didn't now what I really noticed here is that Donald Trump's press conferences aren't what they seem and they're being edited they're being brought forward so that the consumer who's watching the news doesn't get the actual news they're being chunked up and brought out as if Donald Trump isn't saying negative shit and fucking up everywhere he's fucking up everywhere I mean let's be honest here this whole Doral idea was dumb but he did it because he didn't want people to be looking at the problems that he's having with his A taxes B family and C Syria murder Murdering people is no different than murdering people. And when we start judging America on a different standard than we judge Germany, we need to take a really good look at that because our allies make up our alliances. And when we murder people and nonchalantly and allow them to be eradicated by other people, that's an endorsement of an idea, a supremacist idea. And when Donald Trump does that and what I'm doing right now, although it might irritate people, the facts are the facts, people. If you pick up the Bible and you say do unto others as you would have done unto you and your allies were your friends, would you go and poke their eye out with a stick? Would you allow their mothers and fathers to be murdered? How about that poor innocent Kurd that had his hands behind his back and that guy who shot him in the head as he's standing in the streets? Is that something that America stands for? The United States of America. You remember how many times we've come forward and we've rode to the rescue? I think the problem is Donald Trump takes too many horses for his magical carriage. His magical carriage doesn't fly, and we're living in a Roman state. And you remember what happened to the Romans. It's a sad state of affairs. When you supply other people with the ability to be a terrorist organization through your military and then protect the things that are assets for other people and put people who are your allies in harm's way with intent, that's totalitarianism. That's a dictatorship. You are controlling the means through your army and military and allowing for them to be terrorists against others. It's no different than declaring somebody as a terrorist. The only people you're declaring as a terrorist is yourself. That's what the president's doing. Our special forces train those people. They love them. They work side by side. Same barracks, same family, same food, same region. The president's never been anywhere. General Mass had it right. He got a spur, got a spurs right from a doctor. Bone spurs. Seems to be walking just fine as he's walking around that stage, though, punching his fist, talking bad about Democrats. I mean, come on, people. Can you not see reality? Fox News to Rupert Murdoch is twisting the truth so much that you don't even know what's going on anymore. We can't even see the truth. We got four pretty women sitting around here with Newt Gingrich, the druggie who got busted with a gun in his handbag, talking about how Donald Trump is the supremacist leader of the what? Free world? How long until we got people walking around saying Sig Heil and rounding up Democrats and shooting him in the head? How long until you start screaming, ah! Democrat! Ah! And then blowing away Democrats. How long until Democrats start showing up for Congress without shoes on? Huh? What country do you live in? What world do you live in? When will you rise up? When are you going to get off your lazy ass and say, I love God? What's wrong with you?